Welcome back to the Dr. K Call. Today we're going to talk about cemented versus cementless. There's an increasing trend today towards cementless knees and somewhat of a switch back to some cemented hips. So let's talk a little bit about it. So the history is that early on, most everything was cemented. In the early 90s, we started going to some cementless knees. I had some very successful uh, implants and others that had some trouble and gradually we drifted back towards cemented. With hips, we went from cemented to cementless and in this country, almost totally cementless. In Europe, they still use quite a bit of cemented and now we're drif drifting back to cemented. So there's, there's pros and cons to both. Uh, the way I talk to my um, patient is, uh, let's say you have a driveway that's just been poured and it's cement. Okay, if a big truck drives over and it cracks, that doesn't mean it's gonna fail. It just has a crack and it's compromised. If it was cementless early on, um, you don't have good fixation, you just have fixation uh, of uh, provisional fixation, uh, like screws or pegs or, or something like that. And then um, the bone in grows into the, into the implant and that's what gives you the biologic fixation. So if that same truck ran over a biologic fixation type of scenario, it could theoretically bleed and heal. So let's talk about the different options with cemented. We use modern cement technique uh, and, it, and cement has improved, our technique has improved. It is a very long lasting bond. Uh, it works well with knees um, and uh, with hips. We have some difficulty getting it out if we ever have to revise it, but you also have the same type of difficulty getting, getting a cementless device out if you have to revise it. Uh, in hips, we found that the cementless uh, works well, gives us longevity, uh, but we're drifting back to more cemented and perhaps an osteoporotic bone uh, or someone that uh, has a hip fracture there's more cementless uh, or cemented uh, type of implants. Now, with knees, today we're gradually drifting more towards a cementless biologic fixation. We have 3D printed, we have additive uh, types of things like the material, the bone likes titanium. We apply hydroxyapatite, which is uh, a, a substance that, that attracts the bone. The uh, bone is 3D printed to look like uh, cancellous bone to look like the scaffolding of bone so that the bone likes it and grows into it. So we do all these things to try to improve uh, biologic fixation because ideally um, we like the idea of having a bond right to the implant that is living because then it can adjust. It can, if you crack a little bit, it could, it could heal. Um, when you when I cement a knee in place or cement a hip in place, it's as good as it's ever going to be the minute you walk out of that OR. From there on, uh, as time goes by, as you go through life, as you do things, you might crack, you might you might uh, cause pieces to to flake off. I mean, there, there's all these things. Yet, it has proven to work very very well for m many many decades. Uh, as long as you use modern cement technique, and modern cement technique basically is, is a newer way of putting in cement. We, we mix it in a vacuum. Uh, we apply it to the implant first, so the monomer wets the implant, and you have some adhesive qualities, uh, and then making sure the bone is as, as dry as you can get it and as clean as possible, uh, and in being, being very, very meticulous with, with cement, you'll get a very good, very good implant. With cement less, our fixation is provisional. So however we put it in, whether it's press fit, whether it's driven in, whether it's screwed in, whether it's there's pegs, whether there's fins, whether there's some kind of anchor, um, they are all provisional until the bone grows in to the implant. And so the larger the implant, the, the easier it is for bone to grow in, where we have run into some issues is with uh, smaller, uh, like partial knees, uh, cementless, although I like the idea of a cementless partial knee, sometimes the ingrowth on a very small area takes some time. Hopefully this helps.